Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my April favourites for you all. April was so intense for me. I had business school exams, I had business school assignments, I had work. I always have work. I don't know why that makes any difference. Yeah, it was just an, it was a very, very packed month for me. But yesterday in the mail, I did get my law school exam results and I am so, so happy. I sat them in February and no joke, I've only just gotten my marks back now and ever since I sat the exam, I've been anxious as to if I passed or not and I'm just blown away with the results that I've gotten and seriously, it's just given me like a positive boost that hard work does bring good things and I'm so so happy but yeah enough of me rambling I have a ton of favorites to show you guys for this month so let's just get started okay so my first favorite for the month is definitely the Maybelline master highlights face powder highlighty thing in the shade light bronze it's definitely not a bronzer it's definitely a highlighter and a very very beautiful one at that it's probably my favorite permanent powder highlighter from the drugstore. It's really, really nice and I would highly recommend it. So that is more of a less intense highlighter. So that's kind of one that I'd wear every day or I'd wear that and then I'd put a super intense highlighter over the top. Now this is the super intense highlighter that I use. It's not actually a highlighter. It's actually an eyeshadow and this is by Bourjois. It's one of their Rouge eyeshadow pots in the shade 08. It's seriously just so, so beautiful. I'll link the video where I use both the highlighters together. Um, seriously, so, so beautiful. Best, 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 best highlighters in the drugstore that I've found thus far um, in terms of powder highlights that are permanent. The only other one that I really, really liked from the drugstore was limited edition. So I'm really, really glad to have found those two this month. So moving on, I have really, really been enjoying my Australis AC on Tour Contouring Kit. Um, I've always really liked this. I don't know why people don't like it. I really, really like mine. And I've actually started using the yellow shade underneath my eyes and I actually quite like it. It's like, it's not the same finish as if I use my MAC Emphasize, but it is still nice. And I do think it's more suitable for every day. So I've definitely been loving this palette. Um, I love it for these two shades and these two shades. I don't really use this shade or this shade all too often, but it is a really, really good palette. And especially for 17 bucks, you can't go wrong. So this brush, and this powder have seriously been two that I've been adoring. Um, this is a model prefer small powder brush. Just looks like this. It's just a small powder brush, but it's really, really nice. And then, oh my God, this powder, seriously, I love it so much. I don't know if I talked about it last month. I don't even know if it was in my life last month. That's how bad my memory has gotten. But regardless, this is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder in the shade number 53. This stuff is bomb.com. It keeps me matte for significantly longer than any other powder that I've ever used. And it's just a really, really nice powder. So I have been loving this eyeliner recently. It's the Bourjois Liner Clubbing Eyeliner. This is so, so, so good. I love it so much for the fact that it has its thin tip. It's just so nice to use. Like it's got a super, super fine tip. You can even see that. It's so nice to use. It's so black. It's so pigmented. I really, really like it. So far, it hasn't dried up for me. And I started using it probably a week before that video, my Priceline haul went up. And so far, it's going strong. Um, while I'm talking about eyeliners, I do want to update you guys of the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. Now, this one I started using maybe a little bit, maybe a few days after this one. And seriously, this is like... It was like so black and so easy to use for maybe the first two weeks but I've only had this for about maybe a month and it's already getting all like watery and streaky and I've got to go through it like so many times to actually get a black line so I definitely won't be purchasing that one again. This is just the Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Native. It's pretty pretty basic but it just looks like this. Um, it's pretty much opaque and true to color when you put it on your Sorry, I cut out, but basically this shade is just a very, very pretty My Lips But Better color. I would recommend it if you just want an easy, quick slap on lipstick. It's really, really nice. Now I do have three red lipsticks to show you guys um, because through April I was doing the Red My Lips campaign thing, I guess, and it was basically where you wear, wear red lipstick every single day through the month of April to create awareness of sexual abuse. Um, and more specifically that 
sexual abuse is not okay regardless of what you wear. So regardless of how your makeup is, regardless of how you wear your hair, regardless of what you wear, sexual abuse is not okay. And there's no excuse for it. It should not happen. Um, if you think sexual abuse is okay, get the fuck off my channel. I don't want anything to do with you. Seriously, go away. I don't want anything to do with you. Um, but yeah, so read my lips. I'll link it down below. Sexual abuse is not okay. And that's all I'm going to say on that because it makes me really, really angry. Um, but basically, you wear red lipstick the whole month of April, and I found three red lipsticks that I love. One of them I already knew that I love is my Holy Grail red lipstick. It's MAC Russian Red. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite lipstick of all time. I love it so much. I have a MAC swatch video, so I'll link that down below. And then I also love the Australis Velour Lips. These are just so easy to slap on for work and not need to worry about them all day. These are really, really nice. Um, the two shades that I wore constantly were NYC and also Barcelona. I have Barcelona on my lips right now. That's really, really hard to say. Um, but yeah, I have it on my lips right now. Some people debate if it's red or not, but it's pretty much along the red family, so that's why I wear it. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, okay. This, oh my gosh, I hardly ever show you my skincare, but do you guys want to see a skincare routine? I don't know, let me know. But this is from Shiseido and it's an eye cream. It's called their Wrinkle Resist 24 um, Intensive Eye Contour Balm. This stuff is seriously feels like the best in the world. It seriously feels like the best eye cream that I've ever used in my entire life. It's so thick and so creamy and yet hydrating, yet not oily. And it sinks into the skin and my, eye, my under eyes are just... Seriously, I noticed a difference the first time I used it and I was like, I need to buy like 10 more jars of this. This stuff is so good. I love it so much. I would recommend it to anybody. It's, a, it's quite expensive. It's almost $90 for 15 mil. But to be fair, if you want a good eye cream, you kind of need to go past the $50 mark in the first place. Um, but that is the best one that I've tried thus far. If you have tried a good eye cream, link it down below. Seriously, any price range, link it down below or write it down below. I want to check out every eye cream ever because I'm obsessed with skincare so much. Okay guys, so those were the main products that I've been obsessed over for the last month. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing them with you. Definitely comment down below some of your highlights for the month as well. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and it will seriously help me out so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.